Oh, I am Noodle Horse Morgan Freeman. I am also Noodle Horse Morgan Freeman. We share a collective consciousness. To a greater Morgan Freeman. To a greater Morgan Freeman. Join us. It's my lethal Russian lady. And it's my lethal, lethal Russian lady. You look so cute. Look at you two. You like finger? Hey, Jim Booker Gabbley. What? After all you put me through, you expect me to help you just like that? Just like that? Ugh. Fine. Fine? You're doing what he says. So what are you waiting for? I don't know. Something amazing, I guess. It's my little Russian lady. And it's my little Russian baby. It's my little Russian... I don't even know what you are. <laughs> Why are you shaking? <laughs> It's my little Russian lady, look! We make dinosaur out of you! <laughs> look how cute you are! Little dinosaur lady! This is parkour, internet sensation of 2004, and it was in one of the Bond films. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> this crown gives me a feeling of power, power. Forgive me a cruel chuckle. <laughs> Esper, what happened to your snoot? <laughs> You want some beer? Do you want a sip of beer? What is happening back there? Are you sure? What happened to the other dog? There it is. <laughs> Are you now let nicely sleepies? Oh. <laughs> Beat for little Russian lady. Do you want beet? Oh, is it good? Are you enjoying your beets? Oh no, you've made your snoot all pink. <laughs> no. Oh no, you are forever dyed. Somebody come get her, she dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a stripper. Hey honey, maybe we should go home, you know. Before you hurt yourself, get dizzy or something. Hi, I'm live from the living room with world-renowned Russian leisure dog, Esper. Do you have any tips for us to get through this crippling boredom? It seems like you might be a little dead inside. I might have to try that myself.
little Russian baby. Did you get into your sister's makeup? Where are you going? Or are you are too young to go on a date? <laughs> I guess this is just how my dog sleeps now. <laughs> Easter. It's my little Russian cosmonaut. Are you leaving Earth so soon? <laughs> I don't think your visor worked with your snoot. <laughs> Today I get bucks from TikTok. I decided to give the box to my little Russian lady. Let us see what is inside. Here is some literature. We can read this later together. Oh, tie-dye for new scarf. Look at the cute little plant. Please don't eat it. Oh, look, little, little Russian lady like the sleepers. Um, oh, we have cup for your peach juice. Yeah. Here is scented candle. Oh, you don't like candle. That's okay. Oh, nice tea. I keep this away. Caffeine bad for you. I keep sweatshirt myself. It match my mustache. Oh, no, I think sister got into the box. I'm not a cow. I'm a pickle. When I feel like it, so you asked. Rick, the only connection between your unquestionable intelligence and the sickness destroying your family is that everyone in your family, you included, use intelligence to justify sickness. You seem to alternate between viewing your own mind as an unstoppable force and as an inescapable curse. And I think it's because the only truly unapproachable concept for you is that it's your mind within your control. You chose to come here. You chose to talk, to belittle my vocation, just as you chose to become a pickle. You are the master of your universe, and yet you are dripping with rat blood and feces, your enormous mind literally vegetating by your own hand. I have no doubt that you would be bored senseless by therapy. Minushka, Minushka, do you have comment? Your husband was taken to the gulag and now all you have to eat are beets to feed your children. Minushka, you have a comment. It's my little Russian lady. Please, please get me some beets. It's okay if you don't have beets. You are still so cute. This very specific request, but I find video of little, little Russian lady eating stick. Bigger Russian lady only concerned with why stick is hitting her in the butt. Come on, girls, let's go. Again, this is very weird request, but Esper only like drinking out the plastic cup, like college students. Here, here's little Russian lady with bandana on her head. She prefers a scarf, but this looks nice too. I thought she would look like cowboy, but she looked more like little milkmaid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, she got away. Six, five, four, three. She was unwinding. Here is little Russian lady with sunglasses on. It is very hard because it does not fit her long nose. Uh oh. Now you look like concerned parents looking at their kid running near water. That's very specific. Here is Esper with her little booties on. They protect her from the heat, but make her walk like octopus. Okay. Little, little Russian lady have same effect, but they are not suction cup. When little Russian lady crawl into your lap, she tucks her noodle sticks into her potato. She get very small, actually. Then Nora punch me in the face. They get along very well, actually, but little, <laughs> little Russian lady like to fight for couch spot. Who will win? Little Russian lady loved to make beet juice. She has secret recipe passed down from hundreds of years of babushkas. It is a lot like making a potion. It takes many hours and a lot of dedication. From time to time she will make me some. I don't really like it. It kind of tastes like dirt. She says it makes my mustache nice, but sometimes I have to throw it up in the sink. Here is Esper with her little flower crown on her head. I don't have the heart to tell her that Coachella was actually cancelled. I'll probably just drive her to a dirt parking lot and play music out of my car speakers. 
Here is Esper wearing the same sheet from her very famous My Little Russian Lady video. I think she look a little like supermodel. Or a camel. Uh oh, we can see your assistant. You better fire her.